today on the TMZ Podcast. Welcome to the TMZ Podcast. Derek here. Courtney here. And Jason. Uh, we got another group of stories here, and of course we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> what is wrong with no, you? It's actually a pretty good... We have. A, I said four-pack last time, so I was like, what am I going to do with a grouping? Uh, we have a threesome of stories about... Uh, I didn't want to call it a threesome for a reason, I but you go on. Threesome, though. <laughs> about about uh, three very famous women, all of whom are having their gone through their struggles recently. Let's start off with Amber oh, Heard. Yeah. Very hot, very hot. Go ahead, Jason. Uh, during the <laughs> long-awaited interview that she did with the Today Show, she came out and said, "What I think uh, I, have a, I have a take on this. I'll give you to you in a minute. Let's listen to it first. Amber Heard professing her unbroken love for Johnny Depp. Oh boy. First day of the trial, you." issued a statement and part of the statement said, I still have love for Johnny. Yes. Is that still true? Yes. After everything? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love him. I loved him with all my heart. And I tried the best I could to make a deeply broken relationship work. And I couldn't. I have no bad feelings or ill will towards him at all. I I know that might be hard to understand or it might be really easy to understand. If you've just ever loved anyone, it should be easy. I'm going to go with hard to understand. And yeah. I yeah. have loved people in my life. After you lost an $8.5 million verdict to that them. One, well, that one wouldn't hurt. And, and just the, the, the awful things he said about her. I'm not blaming him for doing it. They had their trial or whatever. But the awful things he said about her during the trial, the way he cast her during the trial, the way that she's come out uh, as the... Big capital L loser in this mm-hmm. whole thing. And during the trial, presumably something she hadn't seen. Text messages yes. between him and friends. Yes, yes. about she her. She may right. not have and been mindful that he, was, yeah, that he was yes. uh, you know, texting Paul Bettany nasty things about her being a witch and so right. forth. So she learned some things, I think, right. from the trial as well. But still says, I love him in the present yeah, tense. That, that was, in the present that. tense. Well, she didn't leave him because she didn't love him. She left him because of all the other reasons that she was claiming all like, the abuse. Oh, I, I don't so doubt that like, she, she adored him. They were married. I don't but doubt that she loved she him. Still loved him when he was doing that. Yes, so. Ag- agreed. And so even when he was allegedly in- abusive, she loved him. But the, to your point, Derek, she said the first line was, I love him. And then she went back and said, I've always Past loved tense, him. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. Yes. But my take on this, is, I, I, first, I, I don't want to go into her mind. I don't know. But I do think it's calculated. I still <laughs> think that she is dying for Johnny to do what I thought he would have done or maybe he still will do which is to come forward in a moment of magnanimity and offer her a get-out-of-jail-free car, a get-out-of-debt-free yeah. car. A walk away. I'm not going to collect the $8.5 million. Because remember, million, or try she, to. she owes him eight point five, which, by the way, interest has started. I think statutorily it's 10% per it's year. It's already started? Oh, absolutely. The moment the judgment oh, is entered, it's, it's Barely it's keeping up with inflation, that interest rate these days. But anyway. Can you get on a payment plan, though, so you don't have uh, to, like— No payment plans. Oh, uh, boy. The payment plan is that he goes to <laughs> court. He it. goes to into court and garners garnishes any wages that she may be getting. Attaches she gets, her assets. She, sure gets, she, has she, she gets mailbox money like many stars do. She's in famous movies. She's got an upcoming movie that she's going to get paid for in Aquaman 2. She was paid. She's been paid her $2 million for Aquaman 2. The full, full, that's another one of okay. our stories on our website. She's already been paid for okay. her role in that whether she appears on screen or not. So that's $2 million bucks right there. But, but her attorneys oh. have said she doesn't have the money to pay him. That money's only going to grow. Uh, the, the debt is only going to grow. And I think that she is aiming to sort of appear like she has these deep feelings of love for him to gain some. To you curry find some it Machiavellian, favor like she's groveling uh, to curry I favor with it, the narcissist. I agree completely. By, by the way, exactly I, agree I don't blame her. Wants. This is yes. exactly what he all. wants, and this is what he said that he wanted to happen to her. But I don't think he will give in to her. You I think he wants her to suffer. I think oh, that he will enjoy whoa. it. I, I really don't think date he Courtney, does. everybody. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't necessarily disagree with you, but this is her best chance: is to appeal to his vanity, to yes. appeal to mm-hmm. him being the king, the man who wears all the rings. I mean, he looks sort of regal in a goth kind of way, and I think yeah. he, I think he loves this. I think yeah. he loves seeing her supplicate herself to yeah. him and say. I still love Johnny, even though I said all these horrific things. I adore that man. We were in a broken, toxic relationship, but I love him. And I think she's asking him to walk away. Does he I agree watch with this you interview? 
Uh, he but hears about doing, it. I don't think he watches it, but he certainly you know, hears about it. I, I think he's he and his his people that that surround him, his entourage. I think they make fun of her and and mm. and talk about the things that she says. Here's the further point, though. I think that builds on that is I think this is exactly what people don't like about Amber because you read that subtext from this you know impassioned. I loved him and I, I still love him. All this stuff and people think it's fake. I think it's yeah. totally people crap. think yeah. it's fake. You and for the do. first time, <laughs> you know. But I thought her testimony on the stand was authentic. Maybe maybe I was duped, but when I I watched her on the stand, tearful. I, I thought I was looking at a trauma victim. I really did. Yeah. That was my read of it. Then, you know, people have, have attacked us for having that position. Obviously, the jury disagreed with me, but that was what I I watched. I thought someone was re-experiencing some sort of very traumatic experiences. Jury didn't agree. But when I watched this, I sort of have a glimmer into what the jury saw, which is it seems Why? as though she's extremely calculating. It seems as though everything that comes out of her mouth has sort of an angle that isn't necessarily manifest on its face. And I felt it here more than Doesn't I felt it in the testimony. Doesn't she have to be calculated now? She does. Yeah, that, but, like, that's what we said. We don't, uh, we don't, I don't blame, blame her. her. I think it's the right move. This. Right. But, but for the first time, I saw it. Did yes. you see it at all? I, she just doesn't, she doesn't love this man, Courtney. This no, is absurd. But she, she doesn't love lost, this like, man. The world hates her right now, and she still feels like she's like a victim, yes. and she doesn't understand. And, like, and so she's doing this. Yes, and again, and that's she why she needs jobs. Like she has a she, she needs jobs. Like, she, she has yes. to do this, and it would yes. be very hard for a studio to sign her right now because. No one really seems to be a fan of her and supporting her. It was the present tense that killed me. Honestly, if she had just said, of course I loved him. We were in a right. marriage. I was right. in a whirlwind it's romance. I and it all curled. She said, I love him. And, and Give me a break. He, she sued him for $100 million. And it's not <laughs> just the forgiveness of the $8.5 million that he owes her, that, that she owes him. It's also, if he were to come out and say... I forgive her in whatever way he wants to do that. Yes. I forgive her. I think that goes a long way in rehabilitating her public image. Yes. And I think she's dying for him to sort of meet her, not halfway. He's never going to meet her halfway. Meet her 10% of the way, right? Just come out and say, bygones be bygones. We ha I loved her dearly. We're now going to move on with our lives. I think it would be a world of good for her image. What does it do for Johnny Depp's image if he, uh, let's call it bait. And like you said, we're not in her head. Let's say she's baiting him to, uh -huh. to do the magnanimous thing. Does that help Johnny Depp or do his fans say, what are you doing? You won. You're on the five yard line. Crush her. I, what, what, I couldn't what is get the into the mind of that? one of his fans. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? I'm I think, genuinely I think, curious I, I about that. I think it helps him. That's Me the only, too. And by the way, I think it's the only uh, reason he would do it. I don't think he has any compassion for her, any feelings either. of sympathy for her. I think he dislikes her intensely. Um, but he just seems so vindictive that I don't think that he will. It means more to him if, to see If he her. doesn't, then I think it could start to curdle against him. If she's on if, TV saying, yes. I love him and all these sort of like And he does another victory lap defeat, playing, and he playing guitar and he with stomps on her. Yeah, yeah, exactly. love it. The people will love that. Like nothing that he's done yeah. has been like, Dior put his ad back up from 2015. Yeah. You're like, right. Not he's been playing he, concerts. Yeah, he's he's making jokes everything. with fans about his finger being lost. <laughs> yes. You remember that? Like it's insane. He's certainly right. not been gracious so far no, in right. history. Yes. Uh, but I find it fascinating. I find all this, uh, you know, these interviews after the fact. The trial obviously was very fascinating. But this also is the interplay of them in the public mm -hmm. after his gigantic victory is fascinating. I it's think fascinating. that's why we continue to cover these stories. Yeah. Uh, but let's move well, on for now to yeah. uh, the Biebers. Haley Bieber, this is actually very positive news. She was on GMA and she gives a health update because Justin Bieber just got, what was it, the thing that he had? He had a virus Ram that was affecting. He had a virus Ramsey called Hunt. Ramsey Hunt. Yeah, yeah and it like paralyzed the side of his face and yeah. he was having massive health issues she had a mini stroke and had to have a whole like close-up in her heart and she went on gma the unluckiest mid-20s couple on earth it really in is. some sense in a health sense yeah. obviously very well, this is her update ways. on their health how is he doing right now um he's doing really well he is getting better every single day um he's feeling a lot better and obviously it was just a very scary and random situation to happen, but um, he's gonna be totally okay, and I'm just grateful that he's fine. That's good to hear. And and this coming on the heels of, of your health scare, you had a yeah. mini stroke. Well, I feel a lot better after that situation. Um, I feel good. I, you know, I had a procedure done to close this uh, hole in my heart, and I'm just giving my body the time to heal and recover. But the two of you both having yeah. such physical health scares mentally. I mean, I'm sure you leaned on one another. I think two things like going through it very publicly in front of a lot of people, it kind of almost in a way forces you to have to just be upfront about what's going on so that people understand what you're going through. And I actually think it opened up a lot of really important and amazing conversation. And I think the silver lining of it, honestly, is that it brings us a lot closer. I find the term mini stroke very <laughs> strange. Do you? Why? 
I don't want to like. I, I, fi- I find that I fixate on well, these things. Well, there's a massive it, stroke. There is a massive yeah. stroke, but a stroke is a very serious thing, and a mini stroke makes it sound like a like a it's, munchkin donut or something. No, like but a it's less mini. serious it's than a regular size stroke. I know. It bothers me. I'm sure me. anyone who has it one bothers me. I think it's a mini stroke, though. What a strange. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, I fixated on the wrong part of the video, yeah, but tell really me your so, so you hear an audio <laughs> of two 20 somethings who are obviously incredibly lucky, incredibly famous, going through a very traumatic health scare, two of them. And mm-hmm. your takeaway is, I don't like the terminology. I want to heighten the trauma yeah. of the, so the health care. No, I, 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 I'm always caught by that term. But anyway, this is this Do you is think great. it would bring you guys and your spouses closer together to be both like be going through this? I don't think we can I get further like... apart. So <laughs> I think it can only move in one direction. When well, you're just... I'm like, it just has to be so much easier Depends for how them. how big the stroke was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because they have all the money in the world. So they don't have to stress about medical bills. Yes. They have all like the best health, health care. Yes. So of course, like it's going to be like I a... think that's right. And by every indication, every public indication, jokers we may, they seem like... Like an incredibly happy and in love couple, mm-hmm. um, and it very can into help. their religious faith, so they're obviously leaning on that a lot. I've heard Justin yeah. say, right. like, you know, Jesus is getting them through this. Um, and no, it's no, it's, I, no I it's true. I think yeah. I think their their religious faith has really helped them through this a lot, and um, they obviously care about each other deeply. It's crazy that they're in their otherwise seemingly insanely hel- healthy. Although he's always had that emaciated kind of kind of. But they're extremely him, fit. Extremely yeah. fit. You know, he plays right. basketball in these celebrity tournaments right. all the time. Oh, they, they don't both look obviously like... hit the gym a lot. And yeah. she's in perfect shape. But they, you know, the outside obviously paints a different. You hit that word wrong, perfect sure. very hard. So, <laughs> so she, <laughs> pretty spectacular. She so she's obviously recovered. She's out there, sort of speaking. Some things you worry about with a stroke are sort of language difficulties. Mm-hmm. She doesn't seem to have no. any indications of that. That face paralysis that he's going through is is jarring. I it mean, is. it's such a big part of his image, obviously, to be able to sing. But also, Justin is a is a teen heartthrob and has yeah. been for yeah. decades. Uh, this has got to be jarring. Not to not to call him vain or anything, but there's a certain vanity that goes along with teen stardom. Putting aside yeah. vanity, and, just, and he has a yeah. look, and now he has you know facial paralysis. It's a big adjustment for him. I hope it yeah. comes back. But nerve damage is nerve damage. I mean, it's it's hard yeah. to imagine. Well, it he's fully. a face for like a tons of companies too. Yeah, and like he's the for face his, for a yeah. lot of companies. And, and assuming he does come fully back, I think every day for the rest of your life, when you get up and look in the mirror, you're looking for signs that this has come back. You're yeah. looking mm-hmm. for signs that this is not totally beyond. Is, is does my face look a little different? Am I, is my right side slouching a little bit? You know, all this stuff. Every single day you'll have that. I mean, as you get older, you know, you look at things and you're like, oh, crap, look at that wrinkle. I see it every yes. day. You see it. Imagine having something like this that you're constantly worried about. Did you wake up thinking that this morning because it's your birthday today? And you were just checking out all the Because I've, I've noticed I a few more. Just, to, just yeah, to yeah, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's not been a good morning but, for me, Arnie. <laughs> definitely in my feels. <laughs> but hopefully, you know, he has a full recovery. It is a virus, as I understand yeah. it. So I guess you can fully recover. It's not like he has a genetic disorder that's a ticking time bomb. And right. there's a virus. If it, if it clears, hopefully he will be fine. But but until it's gone, you're oh, You're just you're thinking scared. about it. Yes. I imagine it's a mental toll as well as a physical toll on his face. Yeah, to put so. his tour on pause. Like, that's a huge yeah. back. Like, no. Well, hopefully speedy recovery for all of them. But let's yeah, move on to uh, Britney. Britney Spears. So in the wake of her... Joyous occasion, her wedding. Remember, Jason Alexander, her first husband from the Vegas quickie wedding, I believe it was 55 hours before it was annulled, um, crashed it. And, yeah. and came through with, with with a knife and, you know, live streamed it. Very scary stuff for Britney. So what has she done in response? She axed the entire security team. Now, this is uh, maybe the most predictable thing to happen in the wake yeah. of this because this wasn't a, a random. If this was a random, I don't think she fires the security team who, who sort of rushes the security. I think there's nothing security can do about that. Jason Alexander is a known person to her security team. He's, a, he's already demonstrated an obsession with her mm-hmm. in, in, in a lot of ways recently where he's gone to visit her mother in Kentwood. To allow this particular character onto the premises is a security lapse. Well, and I not think, even I think just they on can't the premises. Really he was inside the house and he made it inside the house into the wedding tent. Like he was there for a while yes. and he was walking past the security and it didn't look like they were doing anything. The two people that he walked by, he was shaking hands mm-hmm. like with one person, introducing himself. Yes. And her you, closest advisor now is Rosengart, who yeah. came out and said he was livid. So I figured that this would be the next move. He obviously wants Jason prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Uh, he's got a felony stalking charge now. He's still being held in custody, I believe. He's got a bunch of misdemeanors with the trespassing, vandalism, and battery from the actual incident. He's facing that larceny incident. This guy is on tilt a little bit, yes. and he <laughs> could be a scary figure. I think we're inclined to laugh about it because we only know him from the picture of, right. uh, with Brittany in right. Vegas, but maybe he is really unstable and presented a I, threat, and firing the security I, team is the right move. Yeah. I, I, philosophically, I really dislike knee-jerk reactions uh, of this magnitude, right? You fire the whole team. Meanwhile, it was just probably a couple people who were responsible for it. In this case, it seems the only proper response, right? I mean, 
the one most dangerous person, at least publicly that we know of, in her life, the person who has in fact done things that to suggest that he's dangerous and unhinged, gets on the property and mixes with the guests at the single most presumably secure moment of her life, right? Mm -hmm. She had massive security presence there, and they can't do the most obvious thing with the most obvious person. At the biggest event. At the, At the biggest, biggest event. event. Fire them all off of yeah. their heads, right? I think right? that's right. <laughs> Typically, I have more sympathy for, like, this move as well. I right. think, it, oh, this is an overreaction. Not doesn't seem like one here. No. It yeah. seems like you do need a new security team if they weren't able to address this particular situation. Thankfully, nothing happened to Britney. The wedding went off without a hitch. I, I think they bought a house now. Yeah. yeah. Or 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 Britney But But going forward, she's got <laughs> to think. say that. Somebody who's more savvy than Jay, because he it wasn't a particularly savvy move. He just kind of walked in yeah. from the woods and acted like knew the place. He like, was live streaming right. it. It wasn't like he yeah. had fatigues on. No. What what if you have a couple people who are more savvy, who want to do real harm to her? Yes. I mean, can you really trust this team is going to get that job done? I just don't think you can. She had to do it, right? No, it was so, a smart move. So yeah. one one interesting take I have from this, and I want to see, want to run it by you guys. During the course of I her hope conservatorship, than your mini <laughs> it is. It's better than that. During the course of her conservatorship, there were really no security lapses at all, right? I mean, that we heard of. She was in her conservatorship. It was very very quiet. She obviously had a security team around her. She was still a very very famous person. Now she's out of the conservatorship, and we have an incident with her security lapse. It's her first wedding since yeah. the conservatorship, too. It's also, it was her first November, wedding. Yeah, she's been out since November 12th, and this is the very first time that we've wait, ever wait, wait, I guess that's right. Hold, it it hold reminded on. me, though, that in some ways, yeah. the conservatorship did protect Brittany. It was protecting her all those but years no, from boy. harm what like this. It was also doing a lot of harm, no, 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 I think. No, 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 but you got you to close this loop. I know you have two things, right? Yeah. You have you have. I didn't say I thought through the entire right, comment, right, but I want to know the me. correlation. I want you to draw the link between the lack of a conservatorship and increased security risk. I don't want to draw that connection. <laughs> I, I'm not going to thread that needle for you. That was just laying it out there for my team to Take poke it some holes right in. Back, please. Uh, no, obviously, you know everyone is looking out for her interests. I think Matt is is really like kind of her protector now. It's good to see him yeah. in the fold because. He does seem to take these things very seriously. And I mm -hmm. do think even if you don't have a formal conservatorship, she does need someone looking out for her because her family's all alienated from her well, now. You, you she has I, a massive estrangement from right. her father, her mother, her sister. Right. It looks like her brother as well, who yeah. she's in a yeah. beef with Brian, who but seemed to be the only one she liked. He's also still a lawyer. He is a lawyer. He does mm -hmm. get paid. He his motives are maybe mixed, um, but he does well, seem no, paternal. He's payment. Seems paternal. I mean, maybe that's it. Yeah. But he he clearly likes the microphone and yes. he likes he likes notoriety. I and mean, that's that's okay as long as he's doing sure. a good job on her behalf. That's that's fine. And he seems like he is. And he seems like he is. I mean, obviously he's we don't. gotten he seems genuinely she, protective over yes. her. He seems like he th thinks this woman was harmed for many many years and wants the best for her. So he does seem like he's doing a good job. But it's interesting. It's interesting to me that she doesn't have any family around to address yeah. these things anymore. And well, Matt you, has stepped well, into now that she role. Has Sam. You yeah, and now she has Sam. That's true. When the conservatorship went away, you and I, less so Courtney, we're, we're concerned about her, outwardly yes. concerned about her, because we're not convinced that she, although she has a right to be her own person and make her own decisions, she may not be the most, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the adjective? The, the, Savvy or, yeah. or the, the, the best mm -hmm. equipped to sort of manage her own life. Right. Something like that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if you say so, sure. <laughs> Um, uh, um, and, and so, so it is good that she's got somebody who, cause she obviously can't and won't trust her father. Yes. She's got a father figure in her life to sort of a sister. We all need, I still rely on my father for advice and how can I get through a situation? She needs that person too. Yes. And I don't know, maybe Sam is that person for her, but I don't know that she has that many other people in her life that she can f have trust in and rely upon. So, you yeah. know, his motivations may be mixed, but it seems like he's doing well. So you guys agree with me. No. I'm not sure if we agree with about my the security yeah. lapses. I feel like you can't even remember like what you're. I can't, was. and I'd like to move away from it as quickly as possible. Uh, but that'll do it for us today. Uh, download the podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, yeah, Apple, Spotify, Spotify Google, and watch us on, on YouTube. Yeah. All right. See you Later, then. Guys. Bye. Bye.